Hey guys, how's it going? So Tenor Life happened today and they did both a Soul Frame and a Warframe showcase. So because they did both those games, we're gonna split this Tenor Life reacted into two parts. This is going to be the Warframe bit. Lots of really cool things happening. Let's get into it. Okay, I can pass out now. We still have an hour of Warframe to cover, so. <laughs> yeah! <Ooh>. Let's go. <laughs> do you guys wanna, that's, that's it? Maybe we should do that's introductions it? now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up here? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I got so excited about Soul Frame, I just kind of forgot about introducing anybody. Just dumped it. Yeah. yeah. We could start down there. Oh, down here. Okay, hi. I'm Sheldon. <laughs> I'm the COO of Digital Extremes. I'm really excited to see all of you today. And uh, like these guys were just saying, none of the things that, you're, that you saw today throughout this whole event, none of the things that you're going to see up here on the screen are possible without the employees of Digital Extremes. So we all welcome you. We love having you back in our city and around us. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we love you, Tenno. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Paolo. The, thank you, thank you. I love me too. Uh, <laughs> the design director of Warframe. Uh, so excited to be here. We have so much to show you. Obviously, we just did an amazing demo. That was incredible, you guys. Uh, literally teared up at the end. Uh, she mocked me for crying. I did not. But, you know, <laughs> I know, was just, uh, there's video evidence of it. Uh, <laughs> so glad to have you here and be back at this. Uh, it's the CEO of Rework. Yeah, version, exactly. Just, just fill us with energy. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for coming here. Yeah, well, and, since Pablo's uh, here, obviously, we're going to be hearing about the uh, Inaris Hybrid Rework surely. Surely. Hi, my name is Rebecca Ford, and I'm also very excited to be here, and I hope you enjoy the Warframe uh, news to come. Uh, I'm a creative director of Warframe, so thank you for coming. Hello, hello Rebecca. You. Hello, Rebecca. This is the first TenoCon where she's officially, like, actually the, uh, hello. the, the head of Megan Warframe. Everett. I'm so that's the really, really community cool. director for Warframe, and I thank you. I, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm just so happy to do this. It feels like 2019 all over again, but we're stepping it up a notch. And we'll show you what that means very soon. Uh, Steve? Hi, my name's We Learn You, Steve. Who said that? Uh, <laughs> Love you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Steve, and uh, I worked on Warframe for a while, and then uh, Rebecca stole my job. So yep. now I need to like hustle and make like another game real quick, or I'm out on the streets. <laughs> oh, I'm like, thank you. Who said that? <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff. Um, we love I'm... you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Jeff. Love you, Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Steve pulled me with him. I'm uh, creative director on Soulframe, and everything that these guys said, I just want to double that it's amazing to have everyone here again and the support. You guys really kind of alleviated the nerves we had to show you something new. It was, I hope you can appreciate how scary that was for us, but it's such a privilege. And uh, it does feel myself, weird that we haven't seen team, Steve Scott. And just feel so grateful that you've given us Sheldon? the opportunity to do something like this. Oh, God, as I can't well. remember and the name. It means it's so, it's so weird that, that we haven't seen Steve and Scott so and, and Sheldon in uh, such a long time. No, wait, Sheldon's the guy on the right. This is... Uh, I, I I'm Scott. Uh, I don't know how I follow all those speeches because I never prepared anything like you guys did. Uh, and I'm a designer on Soul Frame. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. We love you, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. You're in charge, Megan. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot my clicker over here. Your clicker? Okay, film time. Uh, film two minutes. We have lots to give away today. Um, we have a, anyone that filled out a ballot box, we are gonna be doing some great prizes. We have some great sponsored prizes. I don't know if the camera person can get a shot of that computer uh, with the uh, certain someone. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He's kind of he's kind of fit, eh? I could do a Narta right now. <laughs> I could do the Narta again. What are you doing? Nothing. Never oh, mind. okay. Uh, but we do have plenty of great things to give away, brought to you by amazing partners. And Megan has her clicker now, so I can stop improvising. But uh, got it. My hey, bad. Hopefully, we don't get flagged for nudity on Twitch with that computer. Those were some meaty abs. He's a little a little naky. <laughs> <laughs> I got dumped. This is my personality now. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, we are going to do a little bit of classic housekeeping as we know it. Uh, if you're watching right now, you're getting yourself a Gara Prime. We love Gara Prime, and we know if you're in the audience, you have your coat in your bag to get yourself Gara Prime because we love you too. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, and we mentioned this at the top of the hour, but TennoCon is a very special initiative for charity reasons. We're able to give back, thanks to you, truly. Uh, and we mentioned that we are partnering with Canada Learning Code uh, this year. And I'm happy to show and announce, because I have my clicker, Dean Bergman, play the picture, I guess. $200,000 oh, to Canada wow. Learning Code. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. We're just so happy to support them and just be a part of what they do. It's really special. Uh, and of course, if you want to continue to grow that number and you're on Twitch chat, you can do exclamation point donate and donate anything you'd like. Thank you. Uh, all right. I have a giant box. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. It's right here. We're already into it. It's okay. right here. Oh, I see. Oh, is do you want to hold my box? Oh, is this I was going to help you. You can hold my box. Draw time. All right. It's very heavy. Jeez, nah, not for me. I'm really strong. That was a heavy cool. box. All right. Any vampire would be lucky to have me, but no. <laughs> not a steer. Not that guy. All right. All day, everyone here has been doing lovely activities, maybe finding some hidden soul frame uh, characters throughout the You better the not have stole them. Please don't. They're very heavy. Please don't steal them. Please don't steal them. Uh, and we're going to do some power plat. We're going to do a audience power plat, which if you don't know is 100,000 platinum. So we're going to do an audience one, and we're going to do a Twitch picker one. So we're going to do it at the same time. Ready? Someone sing a song. <laughs> that sounds like purring. That doesn't it does sound, sound like, like purring. <laughs> uh, the winner of this does not need to come up to the stage because I have your information here, but you can stand up and we'll cheer for you. The winner of 100,000 Platinum and their in-game alias is Super Duper Nice Tenno. Oh. Oh. oh wow! For real, that's their username. I don't know. Super duper nice Tenno, are you here? Maybe? I'm sure you're here. I you believe want? you're here. You're probably maybe back. Oh, I see you! I see you waving. Yay. Yay. Winner, winner, winner! Congrats! We will get you your 100,000 platinum when we get back to the office on Monday. Thank you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dean. Who won the Twitch chat power plat? It's still rolling, I'm it's, sure. It's rolling right oh. now. Oh. 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 Uh, I can't see anything. Oh, wait. I can. Hi, guys. <gasps> Broken Shadows on Twitch. You've won 100,000 platinum here. Oh, go. my God. These That's fake ass giveaways. <laughs> before the demo. We had Broken Shadows. Yeah, allegedly. We did have Broken Shadows. We do. <laughs> all right. And that's not all out of my giant box. Also in my giant box is a what? winner for a Steam deck. Oh. oh. I will open it to show proof. Oh, oh what's that? It. It's a Steam Deck, I swear. I have, it's, a, it's packaged. It's beautiful. It's ready for you. Someone in the audience is winning a Steam Deck. You will need to come up and get it. Taylor is waiting by the side to give this to you. The winner is... Do you want us to read it? Not good with names. Not good with names. <laughs> uh, we're thinking it's P.U. Phoenix. And if you come up, just tell us your first name because we have it there. P.U. We got a P.U. Phoenix in the house. P.U. Phoenix. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Please make your way safely up to the stage. Very exciting. And we have another Steam Deck oh. to give away. Oh, oh okay. God. Wow. All right. The lucky winner is... Otto the Taco. <laughs> Otto, Otto the, the taco. taco. Spicy. Yeah, I can't see anything up here. Otto the Taco. Off camera give. Otto the okay, taco. I think I think the people in the oh, audience oh, will be able to see the giveaway Over actually there, being Taylor. happening. So Taylor's you can't really Taylor's get away coming. with like a hey. fake giveaway, especially when so All many right. eyes are on that's, you. That's, that's it? And it serves no that's purpose to do that. fake okay. giveaways um, because it will just. Reb it would only hurt the them. Their, na their brand. It would only PC. hurt them. So. Uh, and all the stuff around. Yeah, there's no, no, there's no point in oh, doing <laughs> fake giveaways. Um, 
as much as we see this in person, this is going to be a Twitch picker giveaway. Oh. All this oh. great stuff. So Dean, roll that while I get some other giveaways. Oh, do you need more of these? Uh, who thinks I can do this with one hand? You can. No, it's 11 pounds. You, you, can. you can. You have a bad knee. Don't do it. Go, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Do you need another name from the box? She's too heavy. Yes, we're going to do a uh, giveaway of the Warframe vinyl. Beautiful. Ooh. And the Warframe art book. Two separate or one? Very heavy. Two separate. Okay, vinyl. Vinyl is NY underscore Soro, S O R O. Ooh! Nice. <laughs> Not Soro anymore. Not Soro anymore. And the official Warframe art book that I held on stage, and it might have a couple dings in it, I apologize. She's heavy. Is Carly Drawn? It's Carl Drawin. Carl Drawn. Oh, there we go. Hey! All right. All right. And Dean, did we get? Oh, the is a power. Oh, HB Omen. It's still running. Oh my God. Right there. Six leaves. Oh. All right. All of this delicious things, including this man, right here. <laughs> Right here. Don't fondle okay. him. This, sorry. This bad boy is going to Sixels on Twitch. Sixels on Twitch. Congratulations. Way to go. Yeah. Congratulations, Six Lees. Please uh, whisper our Warframe Twitch channel and Game Millions platform play Warframe on, and we'll get you all of this good stuff mailed to you. We'll need your shipping info. You know the deal. Okay. I'm done with giveaways. Okay. Well, I'm done. sorry everyone else in Megan's big box, but sorry. You stay in my box. Next year. You stay in my box. You get nothing. You can stay in my box. Okay. <laughs> what? You can stop saying that, yeah, that way, that's please. please. <laughs> if we don't box. get banned for nudity, it's for mature content. It's my box. <laughs> All right. A uh, <laughs> couple things I'd like to announce, I guess. And this is, I'm <laughs> very excited for this because I'm a super nerd and a huge fan of BattleBots. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Anyone else a BattleBots fan? Um, we're proud to say that we're sponsoring with Hacksmith, who are the folks who made the domestic drone and the Rattel machines. They're making their own bot at BattleBots, and I have an asset, Dean, if you want to kick that bad boy up there. That's oh. Us. Wow. Yeah. Oh. The Orbitron. The Orbitron. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, obviously, you're here with us tonight or watching, but it's actually uh, battling right now in Las Vegas. So, oh. we'll find out if it won or not. We might see it on our TV. Either way, thank you, Hacksmith, for making a battle bot. Uh, my, my inner nerd is absolutely screaming because I'm a huge okay, an cool. nerd, too. And my inner and outer nerd? Yeah. yeah I Sorry. Can. Also screaming. Uh, so, thank you to Hacksmith for that. And... Uh, we have another PC gaming giveaway. I don't physically have it with me, and you're going to understand why when you watch this video. So last year at Tenocon, we had that giant computer that looked like the Zeraman ship, I think it was, uh, that we gave away. Oh, that's the deck suit. Uh, sorry, Dean. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Uh, we gave away a PC last year, and we partnered up with JMDF to do a, another PC. So, But let's take a look at what this one looks like. Wait, wait, what? A PC that looks like Excalibur? No shot. No shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he's thick. He's just a little boy, but he's thick. The, yeah. the, the, the chibi Excalibur that? PC. Okay. Guy. That guy. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, if you want a chance to win that, you go to tenocon.com. So thank you to JMDF and HyperX for making that computer. Okay, I really nice. I can't nice. It, but <laughs> it's just how this works. All right, my last piece of housekeeping is after 10 Alive is done, we do have a Umber Former alert going up for 24 hours. Again, if you're here, the code works, and it will also give you an Umber Forma, because we love you. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Oh. 
All right, Reb. Do you want to set the stage, or you want to just jump right in? Oh, why don't we just jump right in? I don't know. There's a lot. We've made you wait for a long time, but we have obviously a lot of great Warframe news, giveaways, housekeeping. Uh, but we really do have a lot to, to uh, catch everyone up on for our plans for the rest of Warframe's life, which will be forever. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Says Sinister Lee. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's very sinister. Uh, as you know, the first thing is um, our, we are celebrating Warframe's 10th year anniversary, which would not be possible with everyone on this couch, everyone in the audience, and we have probably some of the most incredible Dex freebies for this anniversary, which will run till the end of the year. Is that what you wanted up on screen? Is that, that is correct. Dean, you can put that asset up. That okay. yeah, there yeah. it is. My that's me. That's not an asset. Hi. That's a lady. Hey. <laughs> that's hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I feel I, old, uh, man. It's been it's 10 Dex, years since I started uh, playing this game. It's wild. Suits, yeah, uh, which. Are there free. It is. Uh, this is free fashion frame for your operator and your drifter. And maybe I need to relook at this they because be when I looked at it, by just, simply just in my colors, I didn't think it was all that good. Year. I so still prefer. Right. That's right. I, yeah. I think I still prefer. You already um, know that. Sorry. Templar Prime. News, uh, but, yeah. but that helmet. You know, maybe I should put helmet goodness. on. Uh, and something that Maybe also that's launched today, uh, right after the art panel, was our heirloom packs. Yes, the heirloom packs, uh, it has been 10 years of Warframe, and we are very excited to bring uh, the original art director, Minky, back to design two heirloom skins, which have possibly the most beautiful details um, for the core Warframe. I think, historically, uh, some of our like our original primes have that prime look, but like, what if we could push them further and have something incredibly prestigious? So in this year, we are launching our first ever heirloom pack, uh, packs, plural. There's three of them. They signify the anniversary, and there's three different tiers that you can support with to Wait. you know get yourself an heirloom accolade on your profile. Just Wait, if you packs? wish to support them, they're kind of supporter pack adjacent, and then you can uh, get those skins along with uh, plat. A whole bunch of other stuff. A new cosmetic tier. The same because I only saw halos, one pack, mm -hmm. uh, which actually have a vertical slider, so you can decide how high or low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you want, like, say you use a frame with a really big head, like Banshee, you can slide it up. So it's, this is one of our first. Um, of uh, like the attachment series that you can actually adjust where they fall, which is hopefully something we're going to bring um, more. So we'll see. But this is an experiment, so hopefully, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we, if you, we have a trailer. We have a trailer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, play the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nice transition. That was really nice and clean. <laughs> oh, I am really tempted to get it. So if there's like three different, so if there's like three different tiers, what are the tiers? Yeah, limited hot time stuff, as well. Hot stuff. Uh, and if you don't have uh, Meg or Frost Prime, Barzia has rotated her store and is offering some fun stuff for you guys. If you want to go in, get, in, get your relics, get your Frost Prime and Meg Prime. Yay! Prime frame. Prime frame. Prime frame. The, th the two post originals. The OGs. Yes. So I'm not holding my phone to be rude at all. Uh, this is actually to show you the future of the mobile version of Warframe, but my fake fingernails are still so long. It. Okay, I got you. I got you. I can't actually <laughs> touch uh, Is that a stare? It's not a stare. Stop. <laughs> Do you want us to hold it? Stop. <laughs> uh, but. We are uh, playing the latest Duviri content on our uh, mobile build. So this is my personal phone that, oh, 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 my gross thumb. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, Megan's iPad is bigger, so it might help you. I'll put it over there. Sorry, camera person, I didn't mean oh, to do yeah. that. But, Good sleep. Good sleep. Oh, Megan! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it was low.
loading. There's loading yeah. in. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't put it to sleep. Uh, so okay, so there's actually a celestial version. Really hard on getting this out, uh, getting betas going. We have um, that a doesn't really, have the color really, palettes. Um, helpful beta period in progress. And of the uh, we collection. have officially opened up for pre-registration pre-orders today on the iOS platform. So if you have an Apple device, you can actually pre-order the mobile version of Warframe uh, for its launch in the 2024 year. Uh, so we'll, there's a reason why we're moving it to 2024, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about later in our, oh. you know, you know, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, and by moving, I mean intentionally putting it after another very requested feature that someone asked me about at a wedding. <laughs> oh, cross save. Uh, yeah. You oh. Want to say it. Oh. Yeah, okay. But before we okay. get there, uh, yeah. So. Did you, yeah, mobile's working debris is uh, playable on the build, and we're just getting a lot of polish. Um, my friend also go with it. My uh, tips don't use the dex pants and sleeves. Team, uh, and just we're very excited that you can actually use Kila pants. Okay, play interesting. It next year. Very excited. Mobile users, why aren't you pre ordering? You all have Apple phones. No, oh, sorry, right now. You mean, yeah, got it. But <laughs> you're Do you guys to, like, not have phones? The bit. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was playable here, and a few of you actually, like, uh, three people told me that they were very impressed with how it was working. Oh, three people were impressed. Great. <laughs> We've done it. We're so, good. <laughs> Make it four. <laughs> That's real brought it up. Okay. I don't know where that word impressive works. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, you mentioned the other reason as to why mobile is coming next year. And we'll talk about that after the October. Oh. Oh, you're good, you're good. Uh, okay. If you watch the art panel, <laughs> uh, you'll know that we announced our 54th new Warframe. I have a lovely slide, Dean. Uh, Degoth is going to be coming in October Degoth. with Ooh. many other things. That's right. Uh, so uh, as you all ease into fall, Degoth, uh, this is the original concept art by Keith, who's actually here today. He is. Uh, and Degoth is going to be headlining our October update, so that's our next major update for everyone. Uh, it'll be coming this fall. What's it called? It's called The Abyss of Degoth. Oh, there it is. There Ooh. she is. Ooh. Yes. So, who is Degoth? What is her story? Uh, this update is centralizing around bringing a new frame. Uh, it's going to bring our first sort of horror-themed dojo war frame, as well, yeah. which will allow you to build her crypt in your dojo, and you'll Ooh. be treated... Yeah. Oh. You'll be treated to some uh, narrative from Grandmother from Deimos. She has oh. a story She's about Degoth and might have an origin for how Degoth got her name. So you, this will be a Nabarus seasonal update. Degoth will be joining us. We finally have a Warframe that starts with a D, which means we the did it. We made it. <laughs> that is we made thing. it. Don't laugh. It's very important. And uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> Don't laugh. No, it's fine. And uh, it's, um, it, so the frame's coming with a dojo room. You'll be able to get her and learn more about her with content. But we're also making this the biggest quality of life update this year, I think. So why don't we talk a little bit about that? Okay, here slide, we go. Please. Quality of life update. Let's we go. Got slides. Yeah, so we got a, a lot of things coming with this update that are very focused on kind of revisiting other things in the game, starting with Hydroid. Hydroid. Uh, yes. Yay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all excited. I'm glad you're all looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be, I'm just going to kind of talk a little bit like generalities. He's going to be streamlined. We're going to change one of his abilities. We're going to change his passive. We'll show full details next step stream. We're yes. going to do the full dive dive in. Because Hydroid, get it, get it. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, okay, dude. <laughs> yeah. um, we're also going to do a few other things with, uh, with that update. Hey! <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> You guys really like uh, reworks, I see. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, we're working companions. Um, a few objectives that we have there, basically, you don't like how much they die. Uh, <laughs> so basically, they're no longer going to die. Now they're going to get just incapacitated. And after a little bit, they get up. Uh, so overall, basically, like Volpa Fires. their effective health by about 50%, something like that. And we're adding a whole bunch of uh, new mods that basically increase how much you can kind of interact with them and how much you kind of cooperate with uh, with your companions. Uh, I think the thesis for that is your gameplay will affect a their return to battle if they do get incapacitated. It's all about what you're doing when you're you know combos is going to actually impact your bond with your companion. Yeah, ideally there's a little bit more exactly the, the bond with the your bond. With your that's the idea. 
the bond. Um, the next thing we're going to work on is rough edges and rank walls. So we're doing a, a pass on several things. Uh, focus is going to be a little easier to get. So basically, we're increasing how much focus you get from all lenses. We're making it so when you pick up the little focus blob. Convergence you, orb. <laughs> she knows the actual term. Uh, you get some focus for that. We're uh, streamlining uh, the quest for AR early. We're, yeah, we're, we're like, Wave Rider is going to be easier to do. Who here has not completed Wave Rider? Yeah. Oh, the year ready quest. <laughs> Next year, there better not be a hand up. Uh, we're removing bro uh, broken mods. Yep. Uh, so we're doing several things to kind of try and streamline. Yeah, that broken mods was a. And just taking out some I mean, of I kind of understood the, the concept of broken mods, uh, but it wasn't so really something that like options. I think anyone ever cared uh, about. Basically, we're doing. You know, sometimes it can be in the chaos of battle can be pretty hard to see enemies. So we're adding several options to increase that. So basically, you can add like a little bit of an outline to them, change the color, change the intensity, so you can uh, spot them wherever they are. That's uh, order delay. Doing, uh, another uh, a lot of updates to conservation to make it easier to see the animals, the footprints, and all that stuff. <laughs> no problem. Aww, you're <laughs> welcome, Kyra. <laughs> Uh, and one change that started as accessibility but then kind of morphed was out of melee. So essentially, <laughs> if you've ever felt the pain of uh, spamming E like crazy, oh. basically, uh, once we tried it without a melee, which is essentially just hold and it just melees, it felt so much better that we decided to make that the default. Oh, okay. uh, and as part okay. of that, we're bringing in a new extra mechanic um, to kind of spice things up on melee. But uh, you'll hear about all that on the September death stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so our intention is we know we have like a limited time. We're already 20. Okay, we're going to go over. Sorry. Uh, but death stream is going to answer all the things on that slide. And we'll talk about everything that we talked about at Tenocon in more detail. So if we have a lot of questions, everything there, we'll take them in September's death stream. Yep. Now I'm talking real fast because I'm panicking because I saw the clock. It's okay, so. don't panic. Uh, also, mentioned in the art panel, but now it kind of has a more of a timeline because this obviously is our spooky October update. Dean, sorry, I have a slide. <laughs> uh, Grendel Prime is going to be coming around that time as yes. well. Our Grendel next Prime. Prime Warframes, Grendel. Let's see it. There he is. <laughs> yeah. T-H-I-C-C. He's going to be coming Zylock with Zylock Prime. Prime. Zylock Prime. He's got Masseter the Masseter Prime. Prime as well. And he has a Prime Sand. Cyan Dana. So you can kind of expect that in that time frame. And cool. now I'm done. Well, you're not done yet. Because done. as we deploy quality of life updates, uh, there's one update that will have the greatest life quality increase, which will be cross save. Yeah. Ooh, yes, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was I literally walked to the show this morning with Jeff to set up and I heard from the crowd lining up same win. Yes. <laughs> so we are happy to announce that it is coming this year. So you will be able to participate in cross platform save in 2023. We intend on rolling it out in phases, which is to say the Degoth update might have some under the hood changes that won't actually bring the feature, but they'll prepare the database unification we require to actually launch this. So we are going to be rolling it out in phases. We are going to get it out before the end of this year, unless we just really don't want to break your accounts. So uh, our goal is to have it and your account safe in this uh, calendar year. And we're very excited for that. The team's been working very hard on it. So uh, Cross Save is coming. Gwen, this year. Yes. This year. All right, here we go. And now you can, now you know why mobile is next year, because I could be playing right now, and it would be nice, because my main account is, you know, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. Are you ready? I don't know what's next. You know what's next. Is it demo time? It's demo time. Oh, Are you yeah. ready? Yeah. OK. I got the pitch for this demo in uh, Tim Hortons. Yeah, I, I pitched this, yep. And we were in Toronto to record that amazing orchestral quartet score. And yeah, I was having like a farmer rap and a double-double. If you're a Canadian, you know what that means. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, uh... <clears throat> yeah, you just can can't cross-save right now, but yeah. And Rebecca said no. <laughs> cross-save is coming soon. Uh, yeah, so Megan's going to be running the demo. Uh, this is live gameplay. It's about 30 minutes, so please get comfortable. Do a little stretch if you have to. And I 
People are actually stretching. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, stretch. cool. Yes. Meg has to walk over there and she can't trip, so I have to give her some time. Uh, what to say about the uh, demo? Our uh, goal with the future of Warframe 10 years in is, I didn't rehearse the thing. I was just hoping you would talk. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 uh, I'm very excited to bring you um, our, you know, next arc in Warframe, uh, next cinematic arc. What you're about to see truly is the, uh, well, don't look at the computer, but uh, it's the beginning of the next cinematic quest arc. This is the first couple missions of the uh, next cinematic quest arc in Warframe. I won't talk too long about it because uh, it will... It kind of speaks for itself, but I just want everyone to know that the, the fundamental goals and what we want to do is take everything you love about Warframe, which is a lot because you guys really left me a very easy job, I think. Thank you for setting no. everything up. Um, and I want to take... Yeah, we made all the pet companions die. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What? See, you didn't like that. Uh, and uh, I think the, the, the real thesis is take what you love and look at it closer, go deeper with what you already know, and recontextualize and start from the beginning, but from a place that you already understand. Make Warframe connected, love all the parts that we've given, and love them deeper. I'm just gonna ra stop rambling now. We Cut should play the off. demo. We're gonna play the demo. Uh, I won't say no to... S I, I like and there's a whole new, like this, I always like to rant oh. about technical stuff. I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're good. GI lighting. Yeah, I mean, this is a whole new lighting system that we are uh, using in Soul Frame. It is. It's amazing. And, and, yeah. and so pay special attention only to that and ignore everything yeah. that Rebecca yeah. thought yeah. of. No, no, no. Just look at that. So please enjoy. Uh, this is the beginning of the next arc of Warframe. Uh, I hope you love it. We worked very hard on it, and I hope the team enjoys watching their work in front of the Tenno because you are the ones that let us do this. So without further ado, please enjoy the next cinematic arc oh, for Warframe. It begins at Deimos. Oh, that's Crank ominous. the volume, but not too loud. Careful. Yeah, it, it begins at Deimos as well. Hello, Wally. Wait, is that a new Necromat? Wait, what? Is this the first time we've seen someone with a baseball cap in this game? Yeah, this is the first time we've seen someone with something as straightforward as a... Oh! Is that the glassmaker? No, that's not glassmaker. Orchid era, maybe. And a whole ass computer. Okay. Whoa. The fact that they're hiding his face is really concerning.
Okay. Huh? Oh, my lonely vigil is over. A thrill me to know, and on no account wake the family. Despite their conflicts, they sleep in peace. But a solitary dream plagues me. Okay. You must understand. Constructs cannot dream. And okay. yet, I have. Yeah, that's a bit weird. <clears throat> In my dream, one single name repeats. Kalibos. Okay, and who and what is Kalibos? The memory surface long locked away. This was no dream, Tenno. It was a precept. The Kalimo sequence. The cat? Well, we're back here. With the uh, Requiem. With the Requiem texts. I must fulfill this dormant precept. The Kalimo sequence has begun, and it cannot be undone. Okay. Lloyd, what have you done? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. So... Okay, welcome to the Requiem Room, I guess. So those are the yeah those are the uh, requiem illustrations on the walls. I have one responsibility in the Kalimo sequence: awaken the sleeper. But I cannot do it alone. Please assist me once more. This update. Oh, oh they turned off my light. Oh. <laughs> Love. Lol, Rebecca, what are you trying to say? Okay, so we're here. Oh! So that starting bit was actually here. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. I fear we are off the edge of the map and into the domain of monsters. Yeah, no kidding. Never completed his final project. The vessels. The Is this in Charlie? They cannot awaken before the sleeper does. Do you hear that? Let us hope the sleeper is untroubled by such strangeness. Find them. Mm. Is this Albrecht? Or is this someone else? Like, who is that? He looks like the glassmaker. I think he's Oregon, but I can't tell. I don't know. Nihil? I thought he looks- yeah, he looks like Nihil, but... 
the glassmaker. But I don't think it's I don't think that's it because Night Hill is supposed to be trapped inside a inside a glass box. Okay. Why does this feel like Warhammer? <laughs> yeah. Noticing the lighting, Steve. Yeah. This is what Oricon looked like. Yeah, but like, Oricon are not massive. Ballas wasn't particularly massive. He was about our size. He wasn't like. Poor abandoned things. Still faithfully following Master Intrati's last command. Wait, what? Defend. Show mercy to. Oh! And them. Oh, we have a new enemy type. And the Necromex. Oh, that's okay, okay, okay. So it's no longer near or Corpus or Infested for that matter. It's Entrati's Necromex. Fight these dudes. Oh my god, they do magnetic procs. Oh, that's gonna be cringe. Reminds me of Dwarven Caves in Skyrim. Mm. Oh, Soma Incarnate. Which, by the way, can now use um, Hathasatya properly, so that's... It's it's actually... I'd say it's actually pretty good. I'd say Soma Incarnate is actually in a pretty good spot right now. Master Entrati called it the Void Tongue. He feared it was meaningless, and feared more than it was not. Okay. So what we have here is a procedural brand new core tile set from a hub. So Deimos will expand, the Necrolisk will expand to provide you with a deeper look at this beautifully lit tile set. <laughs> okay. No way does a uh, radial javelin actually kill things in one shot. Damn. Okay. Wait, what? 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 No! No! We're getting magic books? No shot! Oh, no shot! Yeah, we're getting... Yeah, we're getting catalysts in Warframe. No way! We need be in no doubt of your skill. No brilliant. way. We've had magic in Warframe in the form of like limbo, but this is new. Oh. Oh, I can't wait to see what I can do with this in mag. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. Hey, kiddo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's Wally. What is he looking at?
Wait, there are multiple children here. Oh shit. Wait, huh? A monstrous danger these labs. Better off sealed. We can only hope this sleeper has been untouched by this vast horror. This great indifference. Is this the world of, of Wally? Holy shit! Oh, what is that? What the hell are those? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Sand horrors. Okay. Wipe, I'll wipe them all out with mag, but okay. Oh no, they're gonna fuse together. Ugh. Ugh, holy crap. Okay, so it's armored. So first off, we can armor strip it. What the hell is this? They really decided to go for like the Eldritch Horror type this time. I'm all for it. Man, 10 years ago, I don't think we would have ever thought that something like this would ever exist. This is actually kind of wild. <laughs> okay. Oh, phase two. Summons the boys, okay. Ooh, shit, they have void abilities. Using Excalibur is a mistake, yeah, true. I might even like defensive magnetized might have also broken this thing. For some reason I would probably be shooting straight through the door on it. Thinking that those are cores, but maybe not. Right. Onward. So that is a new faction that's coming called the Murmur. The Murmur, okay. What? A trap. Master Atrati jealously protected his most adored possessions. Be they objects or people. Come Star <laughs> Okay.
last time we awoke someone, we ended up getting a Tenno. Alright, who's this old man? Who's the there? Kamimo sequence has begun? Yeah. Did he send you? Is he? No. No, of course he didn't. That would be impossible. This is, well, Floyd, the original. Oh, for real. All emotional centers very much intact. Did you have a good sleep? Ah, the helpful Necroloid my Albrecht I made. So that I might have assistance. My Albrecht. Okay. Perhaps that made it easier for him to leave. Resume your duties, Construct. Resume your duties, Construct. Please, follow me. Uh, this is a tenor. An orphan of the void. Continuing the struggle our master abandoned. Okay. So this is OG Lloyd. And the Lloyd we were talking to is just weird... Weird robot... Thing Lloyd. So we're going back to the hub. Okay. Oh, the vessels are unfinished, like a book one might one day return to. Operable, barely. The sequence dictates I'm to wait for their operator. <laughs> Clearly, that cannot be you. Oh, it can be. Tenno, Master Entrati's grimoire suggests you are the key. That colorless antique there, use it. Okay. I mean... <laughs> really? Hey? Wait, what? Wait, what? Whispers in the walls. So, what if you could use transference on something bigger than a. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, what is happening? Wait, is this... Is this Hayden Tenno? Hello, Hayden. Oh, shit. Okay. Who's Owl? Okay, it's not Hayden Teddo, it's Arthur Teddo. 
content creators are safe. Don't worry about strikes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. What is happening here? Like, we're this is the we're, we're Nearly back in the past. Bitch of a year. I wish we could just start over. Find that doctor and try bastard on day one. Then I wouldn't be alone on New Year's Eve. Okay, okay. Oh shit! It's techno infested. It, it's techno infested. Wait, what is going on here? And Aoi is a bag. So I hope she survives. Oh, it's a tech. Yep, yep, techno infested. This is yeah, it's techno infested. That was a freaking techno. Oh, okay. Dead. Oh, it's that cat. Here he is, Chad. Here he is. You are late. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really, really cool. Oh, that's it. The hell did I just watch? Oh, no, no, we're here. Did anyone have that in their bingo card? Wait, who had that on the bingo card? Good job demoing, Meg. Uh, <laughs> wow. So that is where we are going, and we have lots of plans. And it has been an honor to hold the first in person Tenno of Con. I said, oh, you're going to make me cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> it's like all the stress is leaving your body. I know. And you're going to crumble into sand. We have worked so hard to get to this point and we're so excited to continue telling more frame story thanks to everyone here who's played and we really can't wait to release 
de Goff, Whispers in the Walls this year, and then next year you can learn more about the bigger expansion coming to Warframe 1999. So I don't know if there's anything else to say. Happy 10 years. Happy 10, Happy 10 years. Happy 10 Thank years. You. We're going back in time, Thank baby. You. All of you. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Thank you for coming. Get home Good night. safe. Thanks, Thank you everyone. so much. We love you. We Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. Get home safe. Travel safe. Thank you, everyone. That that was wild. Dude, that demo is absolutely insane. Oh. Oh, I haven't felt this excited for Warframe in uh, a while. I'd say a while. Jesus. Oh, shuck it, duck it. Gavin2482 just subscribed. Thanks for the resubscription, Gavin. 34 months, Giga Chad. Jeez. 10 more years, baby. Yeah, 10 more years. Things are going to be hella different. Dude, can you imagine? Giga Gav, yeah. Dude, can you imagine? 10 years from now? Oh, no, not even. No. New Warframe players. They start the game. They do Vor's Prize, right? They do Vor's Prize and all that jazz. And then, and then they're like, okay, yeah, I think I know what Warframe is like. And then they play the second dream and they're like, wait, this is what Warframe is like? God damn. What? It's completely different to what we thought it was supposed to be. And then, you know, they go through, um, they, they go through War Within, which is, ex which is, you know, expanding on the already existing concept from, um, from Second Dream. Uh, then they do the Sacrifice, which is kind of also expanding on top of that, but then the Lotus betrays you with pisses off and and you're like wait mom hello and then you know you do the new war everything changes we beat the drifter and then you know suddenly everything is a little is a lot more different then you know freaking deviri comes along where everything's very different <laughs> and new players are like wait is this what warframe is like and then and then we hit warframe 1999 and even us even us 10 year old players are like wait this is this is what Warframe is now? Damn. <laughs> it's completely different. New players are going to be on a... It's a roller coaster. New players are going to be very confused. But I'm, a, I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. This is going to be hella... This is going to be hella sick, man. Ooh. I like the new cosmetics in the new, in the new pack. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the heirloom pack is looking, looks pretty nice. Yeah, true. Oh, okay, okay. It is the next big thing, yeah, 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 it is. And in order to get there, we need to first go through the murmur stuff, yeah. We need to go through whispers in the wall, so. Oh, here we go, boys, here we go. Um, okay, 